Hi, Infernal Blessings. We are back with another video. All right, before we begin, uh, let me run through a couple quick announcements. Again, Black Magic Essentials uh, 101. That'll be a one day uh, seminar uh, slash workshop. Uh, be about noon to 4 or 5 p.m. second weekend in August. That information is posted. I know some of you have already signed up. Uh, you can sign up for the Black Magic Essentials 101 uh, uh, seminar slash conference. Uh, that all that information is on all the social media platforms how to sign up you can register All you got to do is send your payment either PayPal or cash app Include your name and email address in the notes section and that will put you on the list to get the link if you've already paid Don't worry. You'll get the link uh, A few days before the event in a couple of weeks. I do have a record of those who have signed up those who have paid uh, So again, you can sign up for that now that is available now black magic essential one-on-one 101 We'll be focusing on hands-on technique, how to work magic, how to create rituals. We'll be talking about uh, things maybe that are obstructing your magic or why maybe you're not getting results or things to enhance your work. Um, so definitely want to uh, sign up for that. Don't miss that. Black Magic Essentials 101. All right. Also, if you're interested in a spiritual reading or a spiritual consultation, shoot me an email. Uh, I offer various different uh, types of readings, uh, Klopathic demonic readings, uh, Santa Muerte readings, Egyptian oracle readings, uh, Vudon readings, um, uh, shadow work readings, which is always uh, a, a reading if you're looking to be pointed in the right direction. If you're looking, what kind of magic should I be working now that's focused more on my needs? First and foremost, before my wants, I mean, wants and desires are definitely things we want to achieve uh, on this path, but working on your needs and doing things about yourself and integrating and mastering the shadow self is critical and key to being successful on this path. Um, deity readings to see what gods, goddesses, demons, and spirits walk with you, right? Um, maybe you're just interested in a spiritual consultation. Any of the four mentioned, shoot me an email at khnum19 at gmail.com. That's kanum19 at gmail.com. Please include in that email your full weekly availability, what you're available on a weekly basis, uh, and also include the time zone that you are in. And I can definitely, will find something that works for your schedule and my schedule, all right? Also, 7th Annual Journey of the Black Adept Conference is in full effect. That will take place from October 31st to November 3rd. We kick it off on All Hallows Eve night. Perfect night for us to kick off the conference with a meet and greet. Do a little Halloween theme thing possibly this year. We're, we're talking about throwing around. Um, also, uh, it'll be a four-day event. Meet and greet on that Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Classes and workshops during the day. Group ritual and group dinner in the evening time. Uh, and then followed by a uh, question and answer session with myself on Sunday from noon to 4 p.m. You definitely don't want to miss this event. Looking forward, obviously, to seeing some of our uh, uh, returning regulars and also some new people, right? If you're interested in presenting, limited spots available to be a presenter, uh, shoot me an email, put in there what it is you want to present, and we'll see if it fits what we're doing. Uh, but spots are limited, so can't guarantee you 100% that I have a spot for you to present. That's that's gonna be filled up probably in the next couple of weeks, we'll be full. All right, so mark your calendars, October 31st to November 3rd. Don't forget to check out all the social media platforms, Primordial Chaos 9 on Instagram, uh, Primordial Chaos 2 Words on Facebook, and Primordial Chaos 3, PrimordialChaos.com 3. I always get that confused, I gotta look that up. Anyways, Primordial Chaos 3, a lot of you know where my TikTok page is. There's links to it. Uh, check check me out on TikTok. That's the best places to go to stay up on the latest updates, classes, events, things that we got going on. I can tell you, this month is set right now. It's hot than a motherfucker out here. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, and I know everybody's going through it as of today, July 15th, 2024. The heat is beaming. I know there's a heat wave across the northeast and a lot of parts. Uh, it's, it, we're used to it here in Florida. It's just hot. It's hot than a motherfucker. It's the month of set. Uh, hopefully everybody is including in their monthly work what they're doing, but also incorporating, really, really uh, venerating, acknowledging set and, and, and doing something on a consistent basis throughout this month. 
as we honor, obviously, the great archetype and the mask, the deific mask of the adversary in the form of Satuk, Seth, or Seth, all right? Also, don't forget to check out the Primordial Chaos podcast available on Spotify and all major podcast platforms. Don't forget if you want to sign up for classes. The way to sign up for the classes I offer, I have a bunch of ongoing series of classes right now as we speak, pretty much covering pretty much anything you can think of for the most part, dealing with the occult or the left-hand path, uh, Luciferian uh, magic and self-mastery, Klopothic sorcery, shadow work class, ancient Egyptian vampiric class, Sith philosophy and dark side alchemy class, esoteric occult Bible study class, Eastern left-hand path occult class, North mythology left-hand path runes class. Uh, um, I mean, you name it. I'm probably missing some. I can't think of all. Oh, necromancy and dark witchcraft class. I mean, you, you, you name it. Go check it out. If you want to see all the ongoing classes, go to the Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Beniti, B-A-N-I-T-I, tier three. That's the tier you want to join. That's going to give you access to the three private classes I do every month for Patreon members only, in addition to the group ritual we do together at the end of the month. Uh, and keep in mind when you do join, it just it doesn't just give you access from the day you join moving forward, because I get that email all the time. You get access to everything in the archives going forward four to five plus, almost five years back now and counting, all right? So I want to put that out there. Uh, everything that I'm telling you, all the links are in the description box of this video to sign up for classes, the podcast, my contact email address, the social media pages, all that's in the direct, in the description box of this video uh, that you're watching right now. All right, so I kind of want to continue the discussion Um what I, 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 some of you, I've, I've talked about this in classes and talked to you about, I find as we are now approaching, you know, the, what I like to call, as they say in mainstream, the dog days of summer, uh, as we know, when we deal with the cycles, the cycles, the procession of the different equinoxes, the seasons, uh, I know spiritually in my magic and when I do my work, and I'm sure some of you can relate, maybe not exactly on the same level, and obviously you're not supposed to, but I've always found, as I've been a black magic practitioner and a cultist, left-hand path, practice, whatever you want to call it, path of self-mastery, those are the words I prefer to use, I find the summer solstice to be super draining for me. It's, it's, there's a lot of energy, we're dealing with the solar, right? We're dealing with the power of the sun, and it can be very draining because there's so much consciousness in the ethers during this time of year. Sometimes the effect of the cycles can have a wear and tear on our body, not, not just physically. I tend to know when I do intense work during the summer solstice, I do tend to feel a bit more drained. It can be invigorating because there's a lot of power exchanged in the cycles of the sun especially in the summer solstice now this is for me i don't know your thoughts now a very uplifting invigorating time for me as i've told you before where i tap into a lot of my hidden power and potential is during what they call the winter solstice it's just it's like a recharger a replenisher uh, there's a lot of hidden gnosis revealed to me during the winter solstice i'm able to really go deep within um in this period here and the spring and the fall to me kind of fall in between these two. It, it, the summer here, it's like you you really go hard on your ritual work. You fight your personal battles, your mental and emotional things. You do things to straighten, strengthen yourself. Uh, you might go real hard in certain ritual work. I tend to go a little harder during the winter solstice. But to me personally, there's a different feel of power or an exchange of energy. And to me, it all culminates for me personally in the month of July, which has always been for the last several years here at Primordial Chaos that we honor and venerate Set, as I explained. Uh, and I think it was the previous video uh, or two videos back, it might have been, not sure. Um, you're at the midpoint in the year, okay? July, late portions of June, depending where you are, but down here in South Florida, July, Late June, July, and August are, are really the dog days of summer, right? And the pull of nature and the cycles of the sun, in addition to what you're dealing with spiritually, mentally, and emotionally, 
can be very taxing and, 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 and affect your body in different ways. And I know this for me. It can affect your body physically and it can affect your body spiritually and mentally, as I've said. So I really, with a lot of the power that's out there during this cycle, my, I, I wanna, this video is about telling you this is a great time to really focus on problems, issues, things that are conflicting you, things that are creating blockages for you, things that you may feel you're falling short of on your magical path, your journey, your path to self-master, right? Because we can never lose sight, and, I, and I'll say this a million times over and over again, we can never lose sight of the purpose and the reason of why we are on this path. Okay, regardless, contrary to what the fuck you might have heard out there on existing platforms, I'm teaching people to be on this path for the sole purpose of mastering themselves on all levels. That should be why you're here. How you're here in relation to that, okay, that's going to vary from person to person. But your main goal should be, one, to have knowledge of self and have that power, that knowledge, that wisdom, that understanding, that understanding, and that overstanding and beyond the standing to really gain that wisdom and that knowledge to be the best that you can be on all levels. That's why I'm here, okay? This is what led me to this path because I found out all the other paths kind of fell short of that. They weren't quite giving you that. They were giving you hope, you know, faith, hope, and charity, right? They were, they were, they were giving you pipe dreams, pie in the sky, promises later down the road. I got tired of that shit. That's why I'm here. I got tired of watching everybody else get ahead in the now. And when I started to understand the concept of what the now is, it, it, it basically eliminated all that spooky mentality that people tried to enforce upon me. I'm not buying into the bullshit no more. I'm not, I don't wanna wait till later down the road, okay? You know, you, you suffer now, sacrifice now, do this, that, and the other, and, and later on, there'll be a great reward for you to fuck with that, man. I'm, I'm, that's, that's, that's poor people's mentality. That's a poor man, a poor woman's mentality. And not just financially, that's a poor man, poor woman's mentality spiritually. Because what you are doing subliminally, you are embracing failure, whether you are conscious of it or not. I'm not embracing failure. I'm tired of it. I got tired of always sacrificing myself for others, doing for others, thought, thinking I was part of some cause or movement, that there was some greater outcome at the end. We all fell for that okie doke at some point, majority of us anyway. Maybe you were one of the fortunate ones that didn't. But I, I, I have to make it clear. I had to go through a lot to get to where I'm at, right? Just like many of you did. And to those of you who might be new, if you think this is a fly-by-night path, an overnight path, an overnight sensation, then this ain't the path for you. It's work. The results, as I've said many times before, are going to be greater than anything you experienced on, on, any, any, on anything else or anywhere else, but if you're willing to put the work in. See, that's, that's the part that people don't embrace. This doesn't happen overnight. It's not fly-by-night. It's not flash in the pan. Boom, your problems are fixed. Couple rituals, bada bing, bada boom, shit. No, it's not how it works. If you don't want to put in the consistency and the work and embrace the hardships that are going to come along with it, because you're going to go through some hardships. You're going to go through some pain because you're going to uncover shit about yourself that you were like, well, going to be like, holy shit, I didn't know that was there. And I know you hear this all the time, not just from me. I'm sure you hear this on many different platforms. I'm sure you've read this in a lot of occult left-hand path books. And there's a reason why you're hearing it constantly. Because anybody that's really doing work on this path, anyone that ha has a consistent body of success has gone through that. And that's why you're constantly hearing it. Okay? So take that advice. Now, if you come in the right mindset, there's no limit on what you can, can accomplish on this path, straight up. But I'm, I'm, I'm not falling for the okie doke no more. I'm not falling for the reward later shit. Do this now, follow all the rules and let regulations do as you're told. If you do this, you do that. There's something at some point waiting for me. Fuck that, okay? And while that's going on and you look around you and look at the people who are successful and don't sell me that bullshit, oh, because they're wicked people and they're material and they're, they're, no, that's not true for all, okay? I don't buy that. I'm tired, I got, excuse me, 
I got tired years ago of watching other people become successful and it appeared to me on the surface and I say appeared to me on the surface they were putting in little to no effort and then I'm out here busting my ass doing nonsense and nothing was happening that was a wake up call people any path that is not teaching you to be locked in the now any path that's not teaching you how to get yours right now in this current moment I don't recommend you be on that path because it's religion regardless of what they're calling it so okay so I find in this month I, I call this uh, well not this month this cycle a season of the summer solstice it's war summer solstice equals war going to battle doing that hard work because it's the intensity of the energy and this is why I say it differs from when my growth in or for those that feel the same way about the winter solstice that's more about uncovering hidden knowledge and wisdom hidden gnosis it's a very mystical, powerful, it's a different vibe. This, this is the season of war. Summer solstice and cycle is the season of war. Going to war, that internal battle that you face within yourself. That battle you struggle with on a regular basis to exercise your willpower properly in a beneficial way that's going to help you grow. Without making knucklehead, bonehead choices and decisions. And, and maybe going in head on, putting the gloves on, getting ready to do battle, go to war, go to fight about things maybe you've been prolonging and putting off because you don't want to deal with it, okay? There's a reason why they try to establish in this cycle more daylight hours, to try to give you more time to tap into the power of the solar energy. And if you understand the power of the sun, that physical sun in nature that I've talked about many times, the central sun that resides within you, the black sun, right? The demonic abode, or as it's, as it's called in the black ship by Malthus, the pandemonium Mandela. This is the time to really tap in to that raw chaotic energy and use that raw chaotic energy in a magical perspective to master yourself. Remember, chaos harnessed is power. Chaos that you have no control over devours you and destroys you. So this is why chaotic, primordial chaotic energy is called that because it embodies both of those aspects of what someone would perceive as good and bad because it can be good in a personal way that it can transform you on, mul on a multitude of levels, but it can be negative or bad to you personally because it can destroy, consume, and devour you. Okay? This is the season. We're in the dog days of the summer cycle now. Know this every year you get to. Not a coincidence that set his feast month is, a, is, is attributed to one of the hottest months of the year. Okay? Not this, none of this stuff is a coincidence. Why? Set also would be a great deity or God to work with this month on specific things you feel you got to improve about yourself. I, a few years back, have, have embraced Set as a patriarchal deity on my path. It's, it's, it's like the tough father for me, okay? Tells it like it is, doesn't cut no corners, gives it to you straight up, no chases. And that's what you want when you're working on the path and you're really dealing with the reality of yourself, who and what you really are, not what you've been alluded to thinking you are not not the not not the illusionary things you instilled in yourself or others put upon you but if you really want to work with an archetype or an energy or a god whatever you want to refer to it as that's going to give it to you straight no chaser set is the one okay 100% set is the one not the only one what would be a great choice for this month i personally adopt and keep set in that perspective for this entire month of July, right? And I know we have a lot of us out there doing a lot of other work. Doesn't mean you stop your work. I know some of you also are doing the Razili Dantor year working, which we're now in month seven, and we will finish this out through the entire year. <laughs> Between the ritual work, the regular workings we're doing, the yearly workings, the ritual workings on Patreon, the work that's in the classes, you people that are part of the Primordial Chaos family, you cannot tell me you don't know what to do. 
There's so much there for you to do right now. You don't even have enough of time, more than likely in this lifetime, to do it all. It's that much stuff, and that's not even an exaggeration. Remember, the Primordial Chaos Patreon page, being a member of the Primordial Chaos family is for those individuals that want to put in work. That's why it's designed around the five points of self-mastery. Mastering yourself spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, and financially. That's the reason why I created the page. That is my purpose and goal and my intentions for teaching. That is why I do all these classes in my free time when I can. Okay? Because that is the goal. This ain't, I don't do this shit for show. I don't do this because it's hip, it's cool, it's trendy. I don't do it for clout chasing. I don't care about none of that stuff. Why do you think, like, that's the number one question I got. Why? I turn the comments off in all the videos because I don't want a back and forth shit fest. Even if it's not in relation to me because I don't have time for it, but I don't even want other people having their little shit fest with each other in the comment boxes. Why? Because it takes away from the material. Just take the material in the videos, whether you agree with it or not, that's fine. Get out of it what you can, and if you don't, then it, just keep it moving. Go somewhere else. That's just how that works. Because I, I periodically get an email of you. Well, I, I know people want the comments turned on so they can dialogue, but I don't. I don't want to turn my channel into a shit show. Again, my approach from day one has always been: I do a class, I put the information out there. I'm not telling you to agree or disagree with it. You take that information and you do what you feel you need to do that's going to better yourself. And if it doesn't do anything for you, then just toss it to the side and don't watch the channel. That's all. It's that simple. I don't go on other people's platforms that I disagree with just to be there for the sole purpose of being an annoying fool. Just if you don't agree with something, there's many platforms I don't agree with that I, I actually think are completely fucking useless and, and pointless and ridiculous or, or they got an agenda or an angle or it's a scam or hustle. Guess what I do? I just don't fuck with it. And if somebody comes to me, I'm honest about it. That's it. It's just the way it is. All right? But anyway, that's kind of all I wanted to cover. So get prepared. This is a seasonal war. Get ready to go to war. War with who? War with yourself. Right? Fight those internal battles that you've been avoiding. Tap into the power of the summer solstice and the sun cycle and, and, and go to work and get your shit going. All right? Other than that, again, if you need to reach out to me for a spiritual reading, uh, a consultation um, if you want to check out the podcast if you want to check out the social media pages if you want to sign up for classes at the Primordial Chaos Patreon page patreon.com forward slash Beniti B-A-N-I-T-I tier 3 that's the tier you want to join uh, all those links and all that information is in the description box of this video that you guys are watching right now that's going to do it for me Infernal blessings, and I'll see you on the next video. I'm out of here.